we are going to learn to write the equation of tangent for a parabola. All right, let's begin with the very first point form. This form is used when you are aware of the coordinates of the point of tangency. Yes. What does it say? Let's see. It says if x1, y1 represent the coordinates of the point of contact of the tangent with the parabola y square equals 4ax, then the equation of that tangent is given by y, y1 equals 2a times x plus x1. Got it? Let's quickly prove this. See, our agenda is to obtain the equation of this particular tangent line. Let's call it L for now. If you carefully observe, you are already aware of the coordinates of one of the points sitting on this line. Just if somehow I get the slope of this line by using the point slope form, I will be able to develop the equation of this line. Right. So, all in all, what I need is the slope of this line. Well, when I differentiate the curve with respect to x to get dy by dx and obtain its value at the point x1, y1, what I get is the slope of the tangent line at x1, y1. Okay, so I am interested in obtaining dy by dx. That is where I am using the concept of differentiation. So let's use my chain rule. It says 2y dy by dx equals 4a, which eventually gives you dy by dx equals 4a by 2y, which is 2a by y. I don't want dy by dx. I want the value of dy by dx at x1, y1. So the value of dy by dx at the point x1, y1 is obtained when in the expression of dy by dx, you substitute x with x1 and y with y1. So here I only have y. So this will be 2a by y1. Okay. So the slope of my line is coming out to be 2a by y1. Wow. We have the slope of the line. We also have the coordinates of a point sitting on the line. So by using the point slope form, equation of my tangent line comes out to be what? y minus y1 equals slope into x minus x1. We are only left with resolving this equation. That's it. So let's do that. This will be y y1 minus y1 squared equals 2ax minus 2ax1. Okay, so in the next step, this becomes y y1 minus 2ax equals y1 squared minus 2ax1. Now, for a second, just divert your attention towards the fact that this point is sitting on this parabola. So, its coordinates certainly will satisfy its equation. So, what will I get? y1 squared equals 4ax1 or y1 squared minus 4ax1 equal to 0. On the right hand side, if you carefully see, I have y1 squared minus 2ax1. I need another minus 2ax1. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 2ax1 from the right hand side and to balance it out, subtract 2ax1 from the left hand side as well. So eventually my right hand side becomes what? y1 square minus 4ax1, which I know is equal to 0. And the left hand side becomes y y1 minus 2a times x plus x1. So overall, the equation that I obtain is y y1 equals 2a times x plus x1, which represents the equation of my tangent line in the point form. Hence proved. Now, At this point of time, I'm sure you would be thinking that I'm going to ask you to either cram this equation or, you know, you can put in few of your seconds and derive it each time you require it. But you know what? I'm not going to say either of these things. Rather, I am going to share with you a trick, a shortcut, using which, in the snap of a finger, you will be able to obtain this equation in the point form. What is that? Well, it is something that you are already aware of. It is t equals 0. What do I mean? See, the, the parabola that we are right now working with is y squared equals 4ax. So, you know what? Just bring everything to the left hand side to create right hand side equal to 0. When I do that, I get y squared minus 4ax equal to 0. This expression created on the left hand side, you know, is called s. Okay? And the shortcut says 
that the equation of tangent to this parabola at the point x1, y1 is given by t equals 0. Where what is t? It is the expression which is obtained when you transform s by using some replacement rules. What are the replacement rules? Well, x square should be replaced with xx1, y square should be replaced with yy1, x with x plus x1 by 2, y with y plus y1 by 2 and the last one which is used when you have a general second degree equation in x and y which represents a parabola which says xy should be replaced with xy1 plus yx1 by 2. Got it? So, using these replacement rules, let's quickly transform s. So, right now you can see s is y square minus 4ax. So, y square will be replaced with yy1 minus 4a x will be replaced with x plus x1 by 2. This expression is my t equal to 0 is the required equation of tangent in the point form. That's it. When you simplify, what do you get? y y1 minus 2a x plus x1 equal to 0. That is simply y y1 equals 2a times x plus x1 which is the very equation that we proved a while ago. Isn't this shortcut interesting? In fact, you know what? This shortcut not just works for the y square equals 4ax parabola. In fact, it works for the remaining three standard parabolas as well. How? Let me show you by picking up any one of the remaining three. Let me pick up this third one. x squared equals 4ay. It's the standard upward opening parabola having its vertex at origin. So, if I want to obtain the equation of the tangent to this parabola at the point x1, y1, what I'm going to do is first of all develop s which is x square minus 4ay. Right, so the equation of my parabola is s equals 0. Now, I'm going to transform s by using my transformations which are my replacement rules. So, x square will be replaced with xx1 minus 4a y will be replaced with y plus y1 by 2. This expression is my t equated with 0 is my required equation of the tangent. Well, I'll simplify this for you. It says xx1 minus 2a times y plus y1 equals 0. Which in the next step I can say is xx1 equals 2a times y plus y1 which is exactly what is written over here. All right. So, from this entire discussion of point form, which I, what I want you to take away from here is that whenever you are given a parabola and you have to write its equation of tangent corresponding to the point of contact having coordinates x1, y1, that will be given by t equals 0. That's it. With this done, let's move on to the next form, which is the parametric form. Now, this form is used when you are aware of the parameter of the point of contact. What does it say? That if t is the parameter of the point where the tangent line touches the parabola, then the equation of that tangent line is given by ty equals x plus at square. You know what? It's a cakewalk to prove this. How? Let's understand. See, the parabola we are working with is y square equals 4ax. So, if p is a point sitting on this parabola having parameter t, that means I can write its coordinates to be at square comma 280. Now, wait a second. The moment I just wrote these coordinates, I become aware of the explicit coordinates of the point of contact. So, if I treat this as x1, treat this as y1, I can obviously use my point form to write the equation of this tangent line. It is given by what? y y1 equals 2ax plus x1. Now, I'll just replace x1 with at square and y1 with 2at. When I do that, what do I get? What do I get? Well, x1 is replaced with at square, y1 is replaced with 2at. When you resolve, you get 2ATY equals 2ax plus 2a square t square. 2a2a gets cancelled from both sides and you are left with 
ty equals x plus a t square. So you know what, technically if you see, I've just used the point form only. The only extra thing that we did was replaced x1 with a t square and y1 with 2 a t. That's it, bingo. We got the equation of the tangent in the parameter form, isn't it? So this particular form is used when you are aware of the parameter of the point of tangency. In fact, you know what, this entire argument not just prevails for this parabola. In fact, it prevails for the remaining three standard parabolas as well. I'll just show you. Let me take the fourth one, for instance. It is x square equals minus 4ay, which is my standard downward opening parabola having its vertex at origin. So firstly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the equation of its tangent in the point form. For that, what is the equation? t equals 0. How to write t? Use your replacement rules. That's it. So x square will be replaced with xx1 and y with y plus y1 by 2. So what do I get as the equation? xx1 equals minus 2a y plus y1. This is the equation of the tangent of this parabola in the point form. Now, I should be aware of the parametric coordinates of a point sitting on this parabola. So do you remember? I want you to remember this, okay? What is that value of y, that parametric value of y for which my right hand side is a perfect square? That's how we had generated the parametric coordinates, you remember? So y should be minus 80 square. When you plug in this value of y, x comes out to be 280. So the parametric coordinates become what? 280 comma minus 80 square. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace x1 with 280 and y1 with minus 80 square. Let's do that. You have x into 280 equals minus 2a y plus y1. y1 is minus 80 square. Okay, so what do you get? 280x equals minus 2ay plus 2a square t square. So 2a 2a again gets cancelled out. You're left with tx equals minus y plus a t square, which is exactly the equation written over here. Got it? The only thing that I would want you to specifically keep in mind is that you should not forget the parametric coordinates of the point sitting on these respective parabolas because that only is going to help you sail through the parametric form of equation of tangent.